Hi, it's me, Burbingish, and welcome to the finale of the Fade Trimmer progression. This episode, we're gonna become the ultimate Fade Trimmer and all that, right? But first things first, uh, they dropped a new Monday update, so I kind of want to go check that out first. So what I want to check out is the new mob variants they made. Well, I mean, not variants. They call it attuned mobs or something. Damn, you just spat it? Oh, yeah, I still have crap, uh, still have crappy rep. Whoops. Oh, well, I'll come back and fix it later. Wait, hold on, one more thing. There we go. Alright, let's see if there's any, uh, attuned freshers or something waiting for me. Oh, wait, oh! What is that? Wait, 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 this owl is like, ice or something, bruh. Yeah, it's ice, it's like sliding around. Ah. I expected his, like, his feathers to be, like, white or something for, like, the snow. But, uh, I guess this works too, it's pretty, pretty neat particle effect. So apparently these things are supposed to weak, be weak to a certain uh, certain attunement, which I am not sure what is, what ice is weak to. Probably flame, yeah, no. <laughs> there we go. Three star silver sabatons, okay. Wait, hold on, how much is... Yeah, this is, this is good, bro, 18 HP. So we got an ice owl. Is it always like standard for all the mobs? I'm not sure. Let's go check out the freshers. Hello? Does this one have anything? No? Ah, oh, come on. Guys, I've just recently been informed that Fade Trimmer got nerfed this update. The haircuts, they no longer last. They disappear after like 15 minutes. But I mean, hey, there's like less end lag now, so I, I, I don't mind. But that also means that uh, Fade Trimming people is gonna be kind of like pointless since it's just gonna disappear. It's like putting on a temporary tattoo or something. Ooh, wait, Mama Fresher. Does this one have an element? There's like no effects on it. Hmm. Doesn't seem to have anything. Well, that kind of sucks. Kind of wanted to see a, uh, I don't know, like a fire fresher, fire mama fresher. That would be cool. I mean, it does have like a flame breath move, so that would kind of make sense. It, like you turn the flames from purple to just bright red. What? Come on, I just want to see one more attuned mob. Oh, what the? I was not paying attention, I'll be honest. What? This one doesn't have an attunement eater? Come on. Well, we can't just screw around looking for attuned mobs the entire episode, so I'm gonna go get myself some XP. Oh, I thought this was Song Seeker. <laughs> Wait, this is Hive. And also, there's a chest over there. Grab all this because I do need to upgrade my moves later. I thought the little castle thing was where you would fight uh, the green angel for Star Kindred. Oh, that's him. That's perfect. I'll let him finish fighting this and I'll just jump him. Here we go. Whoa! What the hell? Hey, come here. Wind passage? Yeah, see, that barely ever lands. Hit him with the rapier crit. What can I what can I hit him with? Oh whoops, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, I wanna try out Champion's World Pro because I know it's really, really overpowered. Uh he actually parried it that time. Fade trimming. Wind passage. Ah, damn, he walked out of my range. He is spear after all, so I don't think this will work as just nearly as well as if it was like a light user. Oh, full precision cuts. Wind passage. Gale lunge. Oh. Ah, he started parrying me. I mean, he started hitting me through my crit. Hey, come here. Did I hit him or did he hit me? I think he hit me. Whoops. Hit him like that. Oh, and there it is. Precision cut is... Wind passage. Gale lunge. Ah, missed that. Okay. Okay. What has happened? GG's. Wait. Okay, I <laughs> Every time I try and cancel like a grip, I always hit V instead of uh instead of actually canceling the grip, bruh. I should probably fix that habit. Well let's see how much XP we got from that. There we go. Oh, 
World without song. Let's go. Uh, do I want to uh, focus on rapier? That's the question. The original plan for this build was to go with the curious edge because it kind of looks like scissors. But I really want to stick with the rapier now just because of how good it is. And I'll just fold for now so I can keep my options open. No plasticity and a bunch of Gale talents. I'm gonna freeze that. I don't really need to. Uh, I don't really need to like modify anything, but I do want the wild card slot for Neuro. Oh hey, Mama Fresher. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> that, that's really convenient. Let me talk to this guy who wants me to kill a Mama Fresher, and I'm gonna just kill this right now. Stop squirming around, bro. I'm just trying to kill you. What? Why are you? Okay, come on, man. I was trying to. I'm trying to help you deal with this big, freaking lizard thing. Yo, they gotta make these AIs a little smarter. Like, what would you rather fight? A guy that's helping you fight the big monster or the big monster? Like, I'm not sure where the logic is here. Oh, hey, there it is. Okay, I'm out of nowhere. Hey, hold on. Come down here, please. There we go. Give me my cards, please. I think I get an extra set of cards once I level up, so I gotta do that first. Oh yeah, I remember talking about how, uh, I- wait. Oh, yo! Yo, it's a- it's a like, frost pressure, bruh. So it's just random between any mob. Well, uh, I, as I was saying, I remember at the start of this the progression, I was talking about how Type Soul, I, I don't think I would ever play it for, like, content-wise, because, uh, I don't really like to swap onto uh, unstable games like that. And I think my bet was right, because a lot of people were talking about how it actually has less players than Deep Vulcan now, and it released like a month ago. But I haven't played the game myself, so I don't really know what could have caused it. I did hear about a bunch of drama though. Do they hate me? No. Alright, wait. Oh, they hate him. Okay, I'm out of here. Uh, where do I go? I'm, I'm just gonna head over to Aresia real quick. Ah! Uh, you seem a bit occupied right now. <laughs> oh, is, is he okay, bruh? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do in this situation, because I'm, like, those hive guards, I don't want to mess with them, bro. I've seen what they could do. What the, he has my haircut. Are you British? No, I'm living in America. Well, anyways. What the? Bandit jump scare. Well, anyways, I came here to Aresia so that I could upgrade my champion's wolf row because at max level, it basically does an astral wind. Speaking of which, I still don't have astral. Can I get up into my boat, please? Why don't they add ladders, bruh? Please, give the Shalooner a ladder. Oh, hey, those guys, like, boats have little flags on them. I forgot to mention that in this update, they also added little, uh, little emblems for the guild. I haven't done mine yet. I might go do that, actually. Just like head over to Etrus and go uh, figure out my emblem. But that's after I uh, upgrade my mantras. I like how the antiquarians just do not care whether you're like a criminal or not. There's like, yeah, you know what? Business is business. Champions world throw. Oops, that's that's the campfire. I left my gale breath at 65 because that's where like uh, all the important talents are. I'm leaving it at 65 while I work on my light weapon, just so I don't have to deal with 19 damage M1s. I'm 14 points away from being able to use this Crucible Rapier that I picked up while I was at Hive. If you're wondering why this video took so long to get out, it's mostly because, uh, <laughs> I've honestly just been waiting for cool stuff to drop. Something like the Void Tower or like Conquest, that would be neat. Plus, they said they were dropping world events soon, so it'll be cool if I could do one of those in like a progression video or something. Oh hey, an artifact, hold on, let me go pick that up. Let's plop, nope, plop that right here. Alright, it looks like I'm gonna have to solve my Etrus rep before I could actually, uh, before I could actually change my guild emblem and whatnot. So I don't have like 20 guards on me while I'm trying to be like, hmm, should I pick this picture or that picture? And also, please go away. Alright, epic parkour. Oh! Uh, give it to this guy. Let me go b pay off my bail. Oh, go away, please. Oh, thank you. <laughs> bro gave me, uh, bro gave me light weapon potential. One second, sir. I'm just trying to buy some wood. These Etrus cards seriously need better agility stats, because I'm just like, I'm just breaking their ankles right now. Go, go, go. Gotta fix my rep before they actually come and smack me on the face. 
Okay. There we go. But now, let's go change our guild emblem for Wings of Gale. So I choose like two of these to make a little- Oh, wait, there's more. So I choose like two of these to make like a cool little, uh, cool little banner with. Hmm. Is there something like bird related that I could put? Oh, that's kind of cool. Like the circle and there's like little gaps for the swords. That's kind of neat. I don't think it'll show up nicely on here though because of how small this little box is. I'm gonna go for like a simple design. Well, that's about as uh, simple as it gets. I'm not sure what I can really do with all this emblem stuff. I'm sure people can make some cool stuff, but uh, they don't really give us a lot of freedom here. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go get my manor key real quick. That guy needs a haircut, bruh. But they nerfed my fate trim and I can't do it. They gotta add like a little box after 15 minutes where it's like, Hey, do you want to keep the haircut or nah? Because like, what's the point of giving somebody a nice haircut when it's just gonna disappear after like t a couple minutes? I mean, in real life, I know the haircuts still disappear, but like, that's at least a couple months or so. Oh yeah, and also, for the people who haven't seen it, they're doing like testing for the Battle Royale thing, right? For the Battle Royale game mode that's supposed to drop. And uh, since I was in the tourney, I was actually a part of that tester group, which is pretty cool. We had a bunch of test games, uh, we, we got an EU server for one time, very really like that one. And then we got a California server one time, and I won that one because, you know, we love California ping. But yeah, it would be kind of cool if I could do like a battle royale in a video. Maybe even fit it into a progression video, but I'm not sure how that's going to work since you start on a new slot. But hopefully it drops soon so that we have more content to screw around with. Hello Lord Regent, please give me my key. Alright, it's actually the next day now. Yesterday I had to go and do a little something, but we're back. Let me do a bit of a warm up. Jacob Dusselden. Vision, where's the vision? Oh, there it is. Is he in here? They are. There's two of them, actually. Hello. Uh, would you like me to help you kill this fresher first? Let's go. That is the guy I need, right? Yeah, that is. Grab him like that. Precision cuts. I give him a nice little haircut. You know, as a as an apology for coming to kill you. This, is it just me or does like the suffocate kind of gets annoying when you're trying to see like fist animations? Wind passage. Oh, that actually hit. Okay. I missed that. Fighting two people is always a bit annoying. But uh, as long as the other one doesn't play too aggressively, like this guy, it's fine. Grab him. Hopefully I can perfect this guy so I don't have to drop him. Always a pain when they start trying to run away. Ooh, they grabbed, they hit that. Ah, uh, no. Yo, relax, bro. I'm just trying to pick up your friend here. Dodge. Wind passage. him up oh crit landed some good hits on him ggs oh wait both of them were my bounties wait this is great that's a lot of xp let's see what we got here uh nothing all that we do get a lot of loot though because this is like two chests and two loot bags Restar summer right oh, wait, never mind. A bunch of hive loot, which is probably expected. Uh nothing good in here. A Legion Cestus. That actually might be a little useful since I want to go fight Duke later. It's much easier fighting Duke when you don't have to endure his like infinite posture. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go try and find myself a way of Navai NPC so I can use the Legion Cestus. And I'm pretty sure Fist does more damage than Rapier anyways. Oh yeah, I forgot. Gotta get my XP. Oh, what the- Why am I in Northwest Singapore and like, is that clad Rome? I think I'm friended with somebody on the- on the list here, that's why I got in here. Because if Roblox is putting me in Singapore servers naturally, then I don't know what they're doing. Back to our nice California servers. 
Oh, cool, I didn't die. You know, I just thought of something. Hold on. Would this work? Ah, it doesn't like the campfire. That would have been actually kind of useful, though. Just have like a free, uh, free flint with you at all times. And yeah, whatever, I guess umbral flint is a thing. Oh! Yo! Enchant. Random Aresia enchant, alright. If I get one more enchant, I could go lapless something. Five minutes later. What? Yo! Another random enchant. Silver dagger metal. Hey, I can go lapless now. That's nice. Who knew Aresia would be such like a lucky island, bruh? Well, I mean, I guess I am getting lucky with these enchants. Not exactly with the Navai hostage, though. Uh, can't seem to find one. Oh, what the... Oh, come on. That is... I'm finding every event that is not a Navai hostage. Well, I guess I'll just keep this in my guild base for now. Oh, there's one. Here you go. And we have Wave Navai. Where is my Legion Sisters? Here it is. Alright, now Duke farming should be a little less painful. Oh yeah, and also... Take my cards real quick. Uh, ooh, spine cutter. Fist of Fortitude. I mean, Fist of Fortitude, that would be really nice, but like, I'm not gonna run Fist. So, I'm gonna just take Maestro's Blade. Eureka. Yeah, sure. And Bear Trap. Oh, Mantras. Ooh, Astral Wind. Wait, Ceaseless Slashes. I, I, I had such like a bad lisp on that one. Ceaseless Slashes. Alright, alright, there we go. Isn't this like the one mobility mantra? I mean, wait, combat mantra? I thought it was like a mobility mantra. Well, anyways, you go like really fast, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, man, but I gotta go with, uh, go with my usual. Oh, reliable. Ow. Okay, I mistimed that a little bit. Whoa. Oh, come on, man. As soon as I come back from getting the vibes, there's another guy is just right there. Oh wow, that is nice. Okay, wood patches is at least good for one thing. What? Hello? Yo, I think I'm about to disconnect, bruh. Oh my goodness gracious. This is truly the peak of Roblox server performance. Oh, I am so fast, bruh. I got synapse on. Yep. Alright, Duke, you know what time it is. There we go. Let's see what we got. I missed when Duke would drop stuff like curved blades and curved blades in his chest, bruh. Now it's just like a bunch of his board rope, I guess. But we got his glasses here as well. Let me see this. Oh, yeah, I can't even put them on. Never mind. We did get a Dawn Fist, though, which that would be kind of nice. Put that on right there. Yo, it's a flaming brain sucker, bro. Why is the flame effect look like that, though? Is it just me, or is that, like, that fire is brighter than usual? Oh, come on, Germany server? I gotta do the entire dungeon all over again. Yo, it's a thunder one. There's even more, bro. Yo, another thunder one. Why is there so many elemental, like, brain suckers? Fun fact, if you don't flourish the duke, he just can't vent for some reason. So, all you gotta do is just, like, avoid the fourth hit. And then you're just like, you can just corner camp him. Oh, whoops. Oh, crap. See? I accidentally flourish, and then he just, you know, vents. Or, you know, you could just running attack him. That works, too. He doesn't really know what to do about this. Come here, Duke. Ah. Ah. Throwing a, fl throwing a crit in there. No. These guys cannot handle the wind passage. There we go. Hey, can you grip him? No, Duke, please use your little stomp thingy. That works too. Running attack. This is a very good strategy. If you don't mind putting in a little extra effort just to make sure you don't die. Because this guy's just kind of dumb, I'm gonna be honest. Ooh. <laughs> this is so goofy, bruh. See? And it's just that simple. Light weapon unbound. And uh, let's see what else we got. Oh! Another enchant. I already have enough for, uh, for a thingy. 
a Lapless, so that doesn't really matter, but it's nice. And now we can get our Gale Breath up so that we can uncap that as well. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Why is there so many wind like brain suckers, bruh? I'm really <laughs> what the hell? Do I have like any special effects since I'm Gale? Like do I do I get some uh damage bonus against them or is that like not how that works? Man, what? <laughs> I was looking for this guy for so long because I was like, why isn't the mechanism working? Why is he up here? Oh, we got a shadow golem. I right, hold on. Let me bait him over here. Oh, wow. He is taking all my ether. <laughs> okay, so he got like his entire goons on, like his entire squadron of goons on me, right? And now what am I supposed to do, bro? I can't insta grip. I have to wait for him to do a stupid little move. A stupid little stomp move. Oh, thank you. There we go. For a duke down. Ooh, another enchant. What is my luck today? Let's see. Pressure. I don't really like pressure break. I'm gonna be honest. Ooh, elemental rebound. Because, like, the whole point of a guard break is that you're gonna go, like, combo them up, right? Oh, wait. I should. Ah, I should have taken lethal precision, bruh. I guess I'll take CISA slashes just so I could uh, try it out a little bit. Oh, my hotbar is decked out, bruh. I have so many mantra slots. Alright, let's try this out. Huh. So I just go like... Mm. I think I know what I want to do with this mantra. Gale Breath Unbound. Hey, you guys remember how I wanted to choose between the Kira's Edge or the Kira's Stereza, I guess? Basically, Rapier or Daggers? Well, my idea is, I'm gonna go down to layer 2, and whichever weapon I get first, I'll choose. And then after that, I can go enchant the weapon with my large amount of enchants that I've gathered. Oh, you cannot be for real right now. Uh, what? Two nomads after I was looking for one for so long before fighting Duke. Here we go. Just gotta make my way over to Castle Light real quick. Oop, that's a crap. A corrupted one at that. You know, one way to make Voidwalker less popular is just to have- It's just to make it so that they have negative diver rep off start. Like, you're doing PvP? Oh, alright, you gotta commit to the PvP. No more layer 2 for you, no PvE. That would be a real pain to deal with since those divers guards have like, a dou- like, 5,000 HP. But uh, that's kind of the point, so. That is a nice mustache. Alright, let's see if we get lucky. I'm hoping I at least get one of the weapons this run, so I don't have to come down here for like, I don't know, like a couple more runs. Maybe I'll do Gale Wax if uh, Chaser doesn't drop it. That place is always giving me curious whatevers instead of actual enchant stones. Oh wait, I have to go get- ah, I keep forgetting that every time I make a new slot, I have to go get the Union Hook and like the, the Spear and whatnot, so this is gonna be a little annoying. Are they ever gonna make Union Hook or like an Echo Talent? Like, that just seems like the perfect talent to be an Echo Talent. You play through the game once, it's like, boom, you get access to easy travel around the map. That is like the textbook definition of something you want to unlock after playing the game once. I wonder how much damage I deal right now. 25-ish. Alright, that's fine. I heard mantras deal a lot more damage to mobs now, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, throw in a couple mantras here and there. Dodge. Changing. Here's a haircut. Astral. Oh, already posture broken. Warfro. There we go, that was pretty fast. Turn on the generator. You know, a cool mechanic they could add to layer 2 would be like, parasite resistance. As in like, the more times you complete layer 2, the less parasites affect you. Well, kind of makes sense as well, you're just like, oh yeah. So uh, these parasites? Nah, I'm used to it. And you get to explore layer 2 a little bit more. Also make the spear like carry over, why don't we? I'm tired of having to go back through this entire like maze every time. I just want to do my layer 2 speedrun strats, man. Grab this. Run the hell out of here. Ow. Hey, get, get away from me. Bah! Throw you off the edge. I like to think the carbuncles were made by like, or Goozers just thinking like, hmm. How can we make the Mud Skipper parry animation, but like, even funnier, and more annoying? And that's how the carbuncle was made. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. No! <laughs> Alright, 
Or maybe I shouldn't try that. <laughs> Fuck! Get off the edge. Champion's War Throw, really funny mantra, would recommend. Talk to this guy, now I can actually see. Since I did like four or five dukes, I wonder if I could uh, get Bell if I like that. Oh, what the? Another enchant? What? What is my luck with enchants? I have six enchants now. Well, anyways, as I was saying, I wonder if I have Bell right now. Just in case uh, I somehow screw up Chaser. Or maybe even these bounders, I don't know. Ooh. Yo, relax! What? Come on, man. These bounders are low-key more scary than Chaser. What the- Stop! Well, great. I'm now at, like, half HP. I wonder if Archmage would be nice enough to let us put down a campfire right here. Ah, man. Blah, 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 blah. Wasn't there supposed to be like a chaser theme? Gale lunge. I have so much mobility right now, this might be actually really easy. Oh hey, light weapon potential. Hit him with some mantras while I'm at it. Oh, no! That would have been so smooth! I, I, I like get flung up there, I break the jar. One gale lunge, three jars, easily. I like to play a little game where I just guess what jars is gonna light up next. Ah, wanted to hit him with the champion's wolf row. Alright, this jar. Nice, I got it. You can really tell how little damage I'm dealing by the fact that he's already in frenzy mode and the second phase hasn't even started. Oh, <laughs> as I was saying, I gotta really conserve on HP here because my light hook's about to run out and uh, I don't really have much ways to heal. Oh, he did. He is dying. Alright, well, I just chill out on this pillar until he actually dies. Pop. Pop. Whoa. And there we go. Let me go see which one I'm getting. Curious, Curious Edge. Alright, looks like I'm going daggers then. By Archmage himself, he decided that I'm gonna be using a Curious Edge. Alright, so we got our Curious Edge. One more thing before we leave the depths and go enchant this thing though. I wanna go bell check. And I heard the new method for bell checking is just straight up just going and dying in layer 2. So I'm gonna go try that, see if it works. See if I have bell, you know. Oh, Tokyo Japan server. Well, I mean, that doesn't really matter. I'm here to die anyways. Let me craft myself some red juice for the road. I think, uh, guys, I, I don't know what tells me this, but I think there's a carbuncle in there. Actually, wait, why don't I just die to this carbuncle? I was thinking about the dying to the bone keeper, but whatever, man. Let's see if I have bell. Oh, I do. It worked. Hold on. Hey, let me out. Jar of souls, crazy slots, or gravity fields? Uh, which one's more scissor-like? Well, I mean, I guess... It would be kind of... Oh... It would be kind of funny if I put down a gravity field and then started like fade trimming my opponent in there. But at the same time, I absolutely despise gravity field. And yeah, whatever, I'll just take this for now and then uh and I can go reroll it later. Oh what the Alright, well. Back to the depths. Boom! Gravity field. We got a pretty nice bell model as well. Just too bad that I'm gonna, you know, go change my bell, go reroll it. Did that actually just wipe two of jellyfish? Oh yeah, and also, let me use the XP that I got from Chaser. There we go. I'm gonna check my cards when I'm not near two massive pits of void. Let's see, chronostasis... Yeah, why not? Goal Crusher. Pressing F during Champion's World Pro will toss your opponent straight down. Hmm, I'll try that, I'll try that. Alright. Come away, please. Find up shard bow portals and gravity field. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I haven't gotten a single legendary bell in my uh, entire like deep woken, well, just ever. They're pretty rare. I usually pick Reaper anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. But uh, you know, I still haven't gotten one. Would be cool. I guess I'll take portals. That actually lasts for a decent while. You know, looking back, the whole rapier versus the versus daggers thing was kind of pointless because I ended up not getting either of the talents. 
since I have enough enchants to enchant two weapons, I might as well just like <laughs> use both of them. But a deal's a deal, I'm gonna go enchant the Cure's Edge. Pop that back on. And now our build is completely maxed out, 100 light weaponed, and no investment points left. Now I just need to finish up a couple more things. Here is one enchant, two enchants, and three enchants. Let's see what we get. Oh! Obfuscation! That's actually really good. Especially for daggers as well, since we don't have much weight. We'll just be like, bah, 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 bah. and they're blocking that. It's like That's 50% damage still going through. I think this is one of the first times I got a pretty good enchant for, uh, from Mopless on a progression. Let me just untarnish my bell real quick. I know some of you guys will say, hey, Burbingish, why do you untarnish that? You could double your rule with it. But that's bug abusing, and Burbingish and Co. will not stand for such for such tomfoolery, as it is illegal under the Deep Woken Content Creator Handbook Section 7, Rule 23. So I can't be promoting stuff like that, man. Uh, you good, bro? I'm just gonna move my boat here. What the hell? Hey! Man, what the hell? Man, I can't have crap in Song Seeker. Alright, hold on, bruh. I got a side mission now. I need to deal with that guy. Since I saw he was wearing freshy clothing, he couldn't have been a void walker, so he must be on here somewhere. I think he was Brent Dusselden. Or Dior Ven. Oh, there we go. Miner's Landing. Is he still on my boat? He's still on my boat. You know, Punchy's in the server right now. I wonder if I could ask him for a boat. Oh. Hey, I got it. I got my bow back, and it cost me 10 notes. I still want to try and get this guy, though. I think I'm banned from uh, void walking this guy for like 10 minutes, so I think my best bet would just to be actually going there myself and manually finding him. There he is. Alright, perfect time. Perfect time for your... Uh... There he is. Come here. Alright, looks like this is going to be a 1v2, which is a little annoying, but that doesn't really matter to me. Oh, I'm lagging, bruh. Come here. Alright, this is a bit annoying right now. Come on, die already. This guy wants to interfere, which I'm not liking. I'm gonna go for this guy because he actually has, you know, he actually has some gear. Inhale. Crit. Carry that. Wind passage. But oh, that actually landed, I think. Tail lunge. Ah, uh, yes, hyper armor. Champion's Wofro. Oh, I thought he died, honestly. Oh, there's a fresher here. That's great. The other guy left, sadly. Guess I'll just have to grip this guy. Was your then your friend? Uh, all right, I'll let you live. You stole my boat. Well, that's kind of annoying, but oh well. It's only ten notes. Hey, you got ten notes by any chance? Just give me something. All right, let's see. 55 notes. I say that's a profit. Well, guys, I'm a true businessman. I saw opportunity in that, uh, well, opportunity. And uh, I made 45 notes from that encounter. What can I say? I'm just a good fate trimmer. But to you, dear Ven, you better sleep with your eyes open.
Yo, if you made it through this entire series, the entire Patreon progression, then uh, thank you, <laughs> first of all. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm almost to 50k. You know, if you're still not subscribed, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it will be a pretty cool, cool thing for you to do. Well, anyways, yeah, this is gonna be the end of the Fade Trim progression. Uh, sorry if I was a bit late for this episode, I was uh, doing a little something. But yeah, that's gonna be the end. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I might do more progressions later on, I'm not sure. Hopefully, Deepwell can drop some cool content soon. And uh, yeah, bye bye.